No intro. Straight into the game. Terran right. player. Yep, at the top right. TSA Clyde. Clyde. There he is. The greatest player of all time. Down here in the bottom left, we have our Zerg player. Remember the team Evil Geniuses? E.G. Aydra. A lot of fans here today for both. <laughs> oh, wow. I like that. Hydra. Clyde going to wall in on low ground. Unorthodox wall in. You do get uh, to close yourself off from a scouting drone a little bit quicker. If Hydra doesn't send a drone out right away, uh, he won't get to get inside the Terran's domain and see what's going on. That's right. He would have to send an overlord, which is something I'm sure he's not prepared to do. He's certainly not a macro Zerg like Hydra would want to do that. Yeah, you, well, you know, you, you never just don't know. want to lose an Overlord too early. You can send one in a little bit later, but uh, one of the first ones, absolutely not. It would, just, it would hurt too much. You need a decent income to actually replace it quickly. Now, when you see a Terran do this, it's somewhat of a tell because you are basically saying to the Zerg, I definitely don't want you to see what's going on inside of my base. Yeah. And most of the time when we've seen Terrans do this, they do make a second barracks in their main. Yeah. It's normally a second barracks or an expansion, but almost always a second barracks, that's for sure. Now, is it going to be a second barracks? It is. One barracks, two barracks, red barracks, blue barracks. <laughs> but Hydra did not go for hatchery first. Nope. Uh, it still can be difficult to deal with, though. I was actually talking to Hydra before the game. His uh, mentality is, well, I went... Hatch first on this map the other day. So I'm going to go ahead and go pool first just in case he goes two barracks. And that has worked out perfectly. Clyde thinking uh, that maybe Idra's a little bit more one dimensional, preparing for uh, a hatchery first build. Of course, if you hatchery first on this map, it's, it normally can sub two barracks. But on this map, the natural base is so wide open all yeah. around it. Uh, spine crawlers really don't help very much. So. So uh, it's it's dangerous on this map sometimes. So this is somewhat of a tell. Hydra probably a little bit suspicious, saying, wait a minute. Yeah, I think right now Hydra already pretty much gets it. He's like, okay, this is this is gonna be a two barracks spell. I'm gonna get my speed, I'm gonna expand, and uh, my life's gonna be happy. Now remember that Clyde uh, and Hydra both very talented players. Hydra uh, arguably the best non-Korean yep. out there. And right uh, up there with Jinro, Brett, yep. players like that. Clyde, of course, the greatest human being on the planet. He actually came here on a chariot pulled by a dozen lesser nerds. That's right. None of which were allowed to look at Clyde in the face. Oh, no, or you can't. For fear they might the actually eyes. turn into sand, turn into a pillar of salt. You know, I heard that that actually happened. Yeah. So, we got an SCV Ooh. taken out here. Very nice. Take out that SCV. Clyde continues to make some Marines, but, uh,. Also making a command center and getting double gas. So he's going to go ahead and transition into a nice economy build. Nice uh, move by Clyde as well. You don't want to say, well, I started out two barracks. I might as well go with this and attack. He just transitions healthily. Yeah. And you know what's really nice about it is he showed enough Marines that Idra was forced into a lot of Zerglings. He made 10. Normally in Zerg vs. Terran, you want to have just four Zerglings uh, around the map early on. But instead there's 10, so that is... Uh, three less drones that Idra could have had. So that's a good move by Clyde. Here is uh, the Overlord. Idra is going to peek. Wants to see what he can see. Very brave Overlord. Some would call it the Magellan of Overlords. <laughs> so the Magellan Overlord uh, does see the gas. He's not spotted at the command center. He's trying to find a way around the base. To the spices inside. Yeah. Don't know if he'll find it. May die on the way, very much like the original Magellan. Wow. Yeah. I'm halfway laughing at the look you give me when you say that. <laughs> so these Zerglings are putting Clyde in a little bit of a difficult situation because Clyde wanted to just transition right into a, um, an ec ec economic game. He wanted to get his expansion up. Yeah. Uh, and Idra is now occupying the bottom of his ramp with the Zerglings. Which means he's forced into making Hellions. Reactor Hellions with three barracks. Now, uh, one thing that Idris was mentioning is that if he does go for this build, he thought that Clyde may, in fact, go for a Hellion, a Hellion Marauder. Uh, oh, man. In. 
So that it's possible we'll see Clyde do that, but he does have the command center, so it's not really all in right now. He may take up to these units, he may use them for expanding, he may try to hit a timing push. We're just gonna have to see, Tasteless. It's hard to say. Stim on the way. Link, okay, Hellions uh, and Marines moving out. Link's run for it. Now, Hydra is probably gonna make a ton of units now. Did he see that command center, Tasteless? Uh, yes, he, he yeah, knows he that did. there's a command center. So, uh, he's not gonna, probably won't overmake, but he is making some additional Zerglings right now. Hydra getting some good creeps spread out on the map to try to catch some of these Hellions. It's a scary thing about Hellions, Tasteless. If they get in too big of numbers, your Zerglings become pretty useless. And here they go! Spinecrawler out. Perfect timing by Hydra. Good pullback by uh, Clyde here. Look at that, he's landing the Queen to do most of the damage. While the legs bait. Oh, that was really risky Ooh. by Hydra. Clyde getting a lot of kills there. Also damaging quite a few. In the meantime, Clyde making a bunch of units at home, getting Stim, getting Concussive Shells, still making Marauders. It does look like it's going to be a Marauder uh, Hellion now attack. He's, uh, Hydra's getting a Spire. Yeah. So, uh, I, the, obviously that's going to be pretty good because Marauders cannot lay down on their back, so they can't fire into the air. Yes, exactly. Now, Clyde does have some Marines, so this is going to be a very, very tricky attack. Oh, Clyde's Clyde. going to be able to deal a ton of oh. damage with it. But Hydra may have the Mutalisks out quick enough to make Clyde double think going with it. In fact, he does have five on the way. Clyde hasn't left his base yet, so Hydra should be okay for now. Yeah, he's definitely committing to this all, and he did scan to kill the Creep Tumors. Um, so he doesn't want to be uh, surrounded at all. And, okay, we have the, the Marines and Marauders moving out. Now, it, the important thing here is how many Marines are coming. Seven Marines. Hydra right now making plenty of mutas to actually take all those out. So uh, we're just going to have to see, can Clyde actually take out the hatchery at the expansion? He's got to be careful. The mutalists going to be coming. crazy. Here we go. And here come the Zerglings. Oh my. Targeting those Marines down. Very the Mutas nice. are going to want to target Marines. Kill them off so that Mutas can stay in high numbers and kill everything else. Clyde may be in trouble, Tasteless, this but the not. Hellions going for the main base. Taking out a lot of drones. How many drones can he kill? Nice, Hydra actually tries to block the uh, Hellions here. Mutalisks coming over here to try to assist. Hydra knows that if he tries to run from these, uh, he's more likely to lose more than if he just lets them stay still. Mutalisks uh, out, have deflected that attack. All right. Clyde! Clyde got ahead, worker-wise there. He's at 45 SCVs to 28 drones of Hydra, but Hydra has a fearsome army right now. He has a decent amount of uh, Zerglings and Mutalisks. In fact, 11 Mutas right now and 16 Zerglings, so that is a pretty sizable army. Just a force supply more than Clyde, but Clyde is quick, throwing up turrets very quickly, bunkers as well. Clyde's reflex is quite good. It might be tough for Hydra to actually get in here and do any damage, but he's going to go for it anyways. Going for these Marines, which should not run into the bunker right away. And uh, right. now actually denies the turret as well. And takes out the turret, going to want to take out these Marines. He wants to keep his Mutas near the production facilities yep. and just kill as many Marines as they pop as possible. Look at this, taking out a bunch of Marauders. Huge right there by Hydra, and now Clyde is in some trouble, Tasteless. He managed to penetrate his base. He's now inside here, um, attacking these barracks. Uh, these are critical. Meanwhile, Clyde um, moves out with the Marauders, but is intercepted by the Zerglings here. And actually, I don't know if the bunker's gonna be able to be repaired in time. That was a bit of a risky move there by Hydra, and I don't... Well, Hydra can target down SCVs at this point, and it looks like he did that just a little bit. He baited out the Marines. coming out to stim and attack into the Mutas. Hydra not paying as much attention to the Mutas as maybe he should, but doing a good job still. Reinforcing with Mutalisks, and right now he is 9 supply ahead, so he's definitely catching back up. 47 SCVs against 39 drones. You can see how panicked Clyde is by how many Marines are queued up in each of those barracks. Four. Uh, normally a pro game only has one at most, two. Yeah. So Clyde is falling apart right now. He is indeed. Hydra playing a great game up to 41 drones, taking a third base at the same time. Hydra really holding it together, and his Muta's Tasteless are doing sick amounts of damage. If he kills yeah. off these barracks, I do not think that anyone in the world could take Hydra out from that position. Hydra's looking really good. Clyde, the greatest player of all time, is now uh, under some serious fire. Oh, he kills a barracks with five Marines in it. Ouch. And it looks like that may happen again, Tasteless. I don't think Clyde can come back from this. Yeah, Clyde has actually completely fallen apart. 
you know, here's the thing. He's losing all his production facilities. And as you lose your production facilities, uh, oh, I mean, nice. Hydra can just drone up. He yeah. doesn't have to make as many units. His economy is going to get absolutely unstoppable it's, out of control. It's probably why we don't see any Zerglings with this attack. The rest of the minerals are being spent on drones. Absolutely. You yeah. know what he did? Actually do a great force, force stim. Yeah, with no Metavex out. Yep. Beautiful move. And of course, you only have to have the Marines <laughs> stim twice before when the Mutalists engage them, all the Marines melt. This barracks oh will go my. down as well. Clyde wanting to play against Eider in the GSL, perhaps having second thoughts about that. Well, he got his wish, Tasteless. But Hydra is showing that he is no pushover. An amazing macro Zerg. He is just so far ahead right now. And it looks like we do have a nice little upgrade coming on. That is going to be a plus one range to missile turrets. A decent choice right now for Clyde. Uh, nice job. Takes out the Marauder. Nice work. Just moving these Marines back and forth. Look, there's no way you can get through the middle of Clyde's base. Hydra is basically occupying that. Two Marauders moving out right now to do a little bit of damage. Meanwhile, Hydra getting speed banelings. That's right. He's up to 18 meters, by the way. As soon as you hit around 15, 16 meters, you start to feel a little bit invincible. Oh, wow. And the turret's not quite covering this location in the back. Yeah, this is just, I mean, this is so hard, tasteless. Uh, you know, Clyde is a great Terran. I don't think any Terran in the world, again, can come back in this situation against a Hydra. I just macro is just too spot on. Look at this, taking out a bunch of Marines. This is pretty brutal. Clyde in a lot of trouble as he loses barracks after barracks after barracks, just trying to get back on his feet in the series. Clyde making an armory over here in a tech lab at the upper left corner of the map. Either, by the way, getting the fourth hatch. You don't have a shot of it, but. It is important to note. Yeah, just getting that and macro hatch up. Finally, Eider is going to be forced out of there. Yeah, it, the uh, returns for his Mulus harassment have fallen. But, I mean, he did more than he ever needed to. It's 81 supply against 121. Hydra up 50% on the supply applied. I mean, look at this. Morphing Banelings. He has so many units right now. 64 drones to the 60 SCV. So Clyde has done a good job keeping his SCV count up. But he just is never going to have the army to take Hydra out. I just, I can't imagine if Hydra just makes units and hatcheries. It's just, I, I am not envious of Clyde. Is no, this I'm is very difficult for Jack to recover to from. Mm. Clyde, of course, Artosis and Tasis' favorite person from season one. He's very talented, but I think the strategy he went with, he didn't map it out right. He did do some damage to Hydra, but Hydra's counterattack was so deadly. You know, Hydra just got those mutas out at a perfect time. I mean, Hydra going back, tries to take out some missile turrets here. So you're like, wow, those missile turrets are shooting me from far away. Why is that? It's not the most yeah, common we, upgrade. We don't really see, I was about to say, we don't really see uh, the missile turret upgrade, uh, the range upgrade as much. So mm. I think Hydra might have been caught off guard there seeing that. Now, uh, well, no, I don't really have a whole lot to add. I mean, look, Hydra is going to take that gold base. He's got a lot of Banelings, a lot of Zerglings. Clyde looks like he's getting ready to take his third. Already has the command center ready. This is a bold move by Clyde. Right, here comes Hydra's army. He's basically saying, if I don't get the gold, I'm going to lose. Well, uh -oh. I have something to tell you, Tasteless. He's I not have, getting the gold, and he's going to lose. I have something to tell Clyde is he's going to be uh, playing in our next there game. Come here come the Banelings. There's, there's no way that you can really recover from an attack like this, when you're this far behind, I'd already taken the gold. Zooming in here, look at him feelings. Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> wow. Ouch, everything is dead. Hydra crushing through one of the best Terrans in the world. Giving us Zerg players out there some hope, Tasteless. This was unbelievable. GG! Wow. Unbelievable. Hydra is so strong right now. That uh, kid just got cracked. He just got cracked. He got cracked, man. Have a nice warm yeah, cup, crack of, in a cup of crack. Crack a cola. No, I got nothing. Crack the people on the internet are much funnier and cleverer than I am. Hydra, has got to be feeling good about that. Winning the first game. Now the pressure's on fly. Do you know what this means, Jesus? Tell me. Do you actually understand what no. has just occurred? Yes, You're going to see Hydra play against his StarCraft 1 hero.
Nada. That's going to be pretty Nada cool. Nada is probably the best macro Terran vs. Zerg player that we've actually seen. Yeah. To be perfect. So we have honest. this wicked macro player against this other wicked macro player. They're going to be going like this. That's what they're going to be doing, Artosis. This that. is going to be good. I can't wait. We are going to have a brief little break. Um, but wow, talk about an amazing game. And you know oh, wait, what, Clyde? No, Clyde actually, is good. against MSP Genius. I drew one and not a one. Darn it. Wait, no. Oh. That's true. I'm sorry. Everyone's like, no, Artosis, that's not happening. He's I'm like, so dumb. I just got so excited. It's all right. We're going to have then next. I'm used to the old format. We're uh, going <laughs> gonna to have. Um, Another game coming up here in just a little bit. We're uh, Nada versus Clyde, and um, that should be pretty. That good. should be pretty excellent. Clyde's TVT is quite stellar. Nada, of course, already showing us how strong he is today. Yeah. By the way, Clyde's defense was pretty good in that game. Uh, he was hanging on there for quite a while. Yeah, he hung on in places that most Terrans would have died. Yep. But uh, realistically, Idris Mutas popped out at just the right time. It was perfect. And yeah, it was. Normally, a lot of Zergs in that situation, they see this many Hellions, they might go. For Roaches, if he went Roaches, Clyde would have won the game. Yeah, That attack would have just killed Idra. But Idra went for the Spire. He put it in a place that wasn't as scannable. I don't think Clyde knew that there were going to be Mutas. Or... No, he definitely didn't know there were going to be Mutas. But because but that, what happened was he, actually scouted he the got spire. so far out um, that he, there's no way he could turn back. You can't just run away. No. Not so he mutas. has to commit and try to just kill as much as he can. Got a good amount of drones, yeah. but again, the Muta counterattack was too much. And uh, Clyde gets a loss. Idra gets a win. A very exciting group so far, Tasteless. So, we're, again, we're going to have a little break here when our Korean commentators are ready. So, uh, and it's going to be a 10-minute ten ten minute break. break. So, you might want to clean up your desktop, okay? You know? Look out! Gonna get war again, gonna get wrong again, gone again with the same song again.